So Amazon is getting into the food delivery uh, business and they are making a move right now that's going to possibly change food delivery because they just bought into Grubhub and uh, if Amazon does something like this, as they do with everything that they get into, they might become a big player in the food delivery genre. My name is John McFall, and I want to welcome you to the McFall RI channel, where I teach you how to make $25 to $30 an hour. In today's video, I want to talk to you about an article that I came across that talked about the fact that Amazon is um, into food delivery now because they have bought part of Grubhub. Grubhub is currently owned by a company in uh, England called Just Takeaway, and Grubhub is... Uh, um, really been struggling as far as who owns them. Just Takeaway bought them last year, um, and the company that bought them after they bought them didn't really like the fact that they owned them, and they are looking to get rid of it. So Amazon is jumping in, and I kind of want to talk to you about that today. So in this article here, it talked about the fact that um, Amazon bought into Grubhub, and part of the reason that they did that is because they wanted to be able to offer their Prime members. Prime is a membership service that Amazon has, and there is a lot of perks that you get uh, from being a Prime member, and Amazon wanted to offer Prime members a discount for using food delivery. So they actually bought part of Grubhub, and right now it's only at 2%, but it looks like it could go up. And they want to be able to offer a food delivery service to their Prime members at a discounted price so that Amazon can make some more money. Um, as I said, Just Takeaway bought um, Grubhub last year for over $7 billion and they actually are at a point right now, if you read this article, they're at a point where they're looking to, to jettison it and they might take a huge loss on it. This can put a, a really good, you know, plan that Amazon might be able to buy Grubhub completely. And I could see Jeff Bezos doing this because Jeff Bezos has a lot of money and he could um, buy Grubhub and have Grubhub all to himself. So this will really change the, the playing field when it comes to food delivery and these food delivery apps. So the possible fallout from Amazon investing into Grubhub, to, in my opinion, is this. Um, Amazon, when they go at something, they go, they go at it big and they go at it hard. This is the way Jeff Bezos has always been. If you, you see how Amazon has grown over the last couple of decades and what they've gotten into. So this really means that if, if they end up taking over Grubhub, um, and I could see it happening if if they um, do it the right way. That Grubhub could, you know, be really really big because Amazon has a lot of people um, on their platform that they can push out something like Grubhub to, and they could possibly become a much bigger player in the food delivery genre than they currently are. Um, currently, DoorDash is number one um, at about 58 percent of the market. Uh, Uber Eats is somewhere around 32 and Grubhub is less than them. But with Jeff Bezos buying into Grubhub, I could see Grubhub growing and, and taking more market share simply because uh, of the, the network that Amazon has to tap into people to buy uh, food delivery services. So it could really turn into a thing where, where Grubhub grows. Uh, this isn't the first time that Amazon has jumped into food delivery and tried to get into food delivery. Back in 2015, they actually tried to start their own food delivery platform. That didn't work out, but Grubhub is well established and it's well known in the marketplace. It is one of the big three. So if Amazon jumps into this, they could actually grow Grubhub and, and take a bigger market share than Grubhub currently has. 
So what does this mean to you and me as food delivery people and multi-appers? If you are not on Grubhub, I'd highly suggest that you might want to look into getting onto Grubhub because um, as Amazon is, is getting into the, the food delivery through Grubhub, you could possibly see a lot more orders coming from Grubhub um, just because of, of, of what Jeff Bezos and Amazon can do for it. So if you're, you're a single apper, this isn't really going to apply to you. But if you're a multi-apper, make sure that you keep your eye on Grubhub and see what is coming through Grubhub to you. Because over time, you could see possibly Grubhub is going to be sending you a lot more orders and they're going to be getting a larger market share of the food delivery in your marketplace because um, Amazon, again, they have the network, they have the power to, to put Grubhub out there and to get more people using Grubhub. So you could possibly see more orders coming in on Grubhub here in the future because Amazon has the power to market it to a, a lot of people in a lot of areas because Amazon is so big. So I hope uh, you, you keep an eye on it and I hope that Grubhub might grow if you're a multi-apper and, and you can make more money on it because this would be really good for food delivery people if we start seeing more orders come in on Grubhub because Grubhub pays typically a really good dollars to time and dollars to mile. They're number one in my marketplace, the first app I turn on when I go out there because of the orders that we uh, get offered. I know this isn't the same in every marketplace. However, keep your eye on Grubhub because it could be making you a lot more money. I want to remind you that down here in my description, I have some great tools for you. The one I want to talk to you about today is my metric spreadsheet. If you want to know where you are on average doing food delivery with your dollars to time, dollars to mile, and dollars to order, go down into my description, go grab this metric spreadsheet for yourself. And I'm going to throw it up here on the screen real quick so you guys can check it out. If you look at the left hand side, you'll see I always put my start time and my end time. This gives me the total time that I've worked. I also put in the miles and then if you head to the right, you'll see for each individual app, I put the dollars that I've made, the time that I worked along with the um, number of deliveries. Head to the bottom and you'll see it calculates out your average dollar per hour, dollar per mile and your average per order. If you want to know how well you're doing out here doing food delivery, it starts by keeping track of your numbers. So head down into my description, go grab a free copy of this metric spreadsheet for yourself. I'd also like to ask you to like this video, to subscribe to my channel. Finally, I want to leave you with, I hope that you are out there getting the money that you and your family deserve. And with that, I want to say thanks.